Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today on this video what I'm going to be doing so in a minute I'm going to go in the shed and uh, try and find maybe a piece of wood to um, wood turn something and this isn't probably going to be like a bowl or like a pot or something I'm going to try and make something a bit different something maybe I haven't tried to make before also thank you guys so much for um, supporting my videos I really do appreciate it okay so now let's go and see if we can find a really cool piece of wood in the shed Hey guys, so I'm having a few troubles with this because um, it's going to be very wobbly and it's very difficult to turn, uh, quite difficult to hollow out as well. So what I might do is I'm going to try something different. So just bear with me for a minute. Hey guys, so here is my plan. Basically, these I'm gonna sit here. Okay, so when once this is all glued together, this will be nice and hollowed out. I had to do this because uh, this wood is really tough and it's not gonna hollow out on the lathe. So yeah, what I'm gonna do now is just glue this all up together. I'm going to come back tomorrow and we can sand it and then finish it off.
Okay, so as you can see, I've now glued all of this up and also clamped it. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is just I'm going to have to wait overnight. I'll come back tomorrow, put the lid on, and then wait for that to dry. Then we can continue with the project. Okay, guys, so here we go. It is now um, glued up on the... It's like glued together. Now what I need to do is take these clamps off. And then I just need to put the bottom of this onto here. So I'm just going to glue it and clamp it again and then leave it overnight again. guys so as you can see all four of these clamps are on now i'm just going to leave it overnight and i'll see you guys tomorrow Okay guys, so as you can see, I have just sanded all of this and it's now very nice and smooth. Now what I'm going to do is just apply some sanding sealer and also some stuff I haven't actually used before, which is some Danish oil. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use my new envelope from Von Hank. I'll leave a link to um, Von Hank in the description below. Hey guys, so here we are. As you can see, I've got my emblem in there as well. Um, so um, I, th I think this turned out pretty nice. I've never, actually, I've never actually done something like this before. And it's got like a nice pattern here as well, I guess. It's got like these little bits here and then like this birch kind of looking wood, I guess. Uh, just like coming down here i think i think that looks pretty nice so i've never really done something like this before so um so yeah this is a bit different to my other projects but i still think it turned out pretty well so obviously you can just put like maybe some daffodils in here maybe for like easter and stuff you're gonna have to put like maybe a glass in here because you can't just put straight up water in here so you're gonna have to get like a glass and then like you can just put some daffodils just coming out of it which i think will look pretty nice so thank you guys so much for watching this video here today i really do appreciate all of you guys um supporting me and thank you guys so much for 28,000 subscribers i recently just hit that so thank you guys so much for that i really do appreciate all of your support if you did enjoy this video here today you can let me know by leaving a like on the video and also tell me down below what you think of uh, this project also guys do not forget about maker central we have loads of people coming there we have if you guys don't know the hacksmith 
my dad got in uh, contact with the Hacksmith and uh, he's coming down to make his central. He's a massive, massive YouTuber. And uh, we also got people like Bobby Duke, you know, Jimmy Duresta, all of those kind of makers. But the question is, are you guys coming down to see the Hacksmith? Because I sure am. So yeah, I'll leave, a, I'll leave a link down below to a Maker Central uh, in the link. So I'll leave a link in the description to the Maker Central website. Also, guys, another thing that would really help me out is if you could share this video with your friends. I would greatly appreciate that. And also, I just want to say, sorry, I haven't put a video out for a few weeks. I've just recently finished my uh, exams at school. We have like a, we have like two sets of exams. So um, I've just finished those and uh, I'm now back to uploading. So uh, yeah, sorry about that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video here today. And I'll see you guys next time with another video with Charlie the Maker.